In this video, I'm going to solve this question. For the log inverse and lin log functional forms given below, find the slope and elasticity of y with respect to x. Note that this equation that you are given in the first part is what they are calling log inverse. This is because we have a log on the left hand side of the equation and an inverse on the right hand side of the equation. So log inverse. Similarly, they are calling the second model as lin log model because on the left hand side y is entering the equation in a linear manner and on the right hand side you have log. Okay, so that's why they are calling it lin log model. So these are the two models that we are given and we have to find the slope and elasticity of y with respect to x. So first of all, let's write the expression for the things that we have to find. So we have to find slope of y with respect to x. This wrt means with respect to and this is equal to dy by dx. And the next thing that we have to find is the elasticity of y with respect to x. Now you should know that we can write elasticity as percentage change in y divided by percentage change in x. Okay, and percentage change in y can be written as dy divided by y multiplied with 100 and percentage change in x can be written as dx by x multiplied with 100. Let's simplify this further so we can cancel this and this and this can be written as dy by dx multiplied with x divided by y. Okay, so this is the expression that we have for elasticity of y with respect to x and this is what we have for slope of y with respect to x. Now that we have both of these expressions, let's find these for part number one. So in the first part, we have log of y equal to beta one plus beta two. And instead of writing one divided by x, I can also write it as x raised to the power minus one plus the population error. Now I'm going to differentiate this equation with respect to x. So if I differentiate this with respect to x, the differentiation of beta one with respect to x is going to be zero. The second term will become plus beta 2 and the differentiation of x raised to the power minus 1 with respect to x will be minus 1 x raised to the power minus 1 minus 1 plus the differentiation of the population error with respect to the x is 0 because we assume that the population error has nothing to do with the independent variables so they are not related. So if I differentiate population error with respect to x it's going to be 0. This implies that differentiation of log of y with respect to x is equal to minus beta 2 x raised to the power minus 2. Note that we are interested in dy by dx and this. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, so I can write that differentiation of log of y with respect to y is equal to 1 divided by y from here I can write that this is equal to dy by y. Okay, so basically the change in log of y is the proportional change in y. So this is what you call a proportional change in y. So instead of this, I can substitute this. So this implies now we have dy by y in the numerator and the denominator is dx and this is equal to minus beta 2 divided by x square and this implies that dy by dx is equal to, I have to take this y on the right hand side, minus beta 2 multiplied with y divided by x square. Okay, so this is the slope of y with respect to x for this particular model. Now we have to find the elasticity of y with respect to x. Basically finding the elasticity after finding the slope is going to be a really simple task. As you can see over here, elasticity is just the slope multiplied with x divided by y. So in this case, elasticity of y with respect to x will be equal to dy by dx, which I know is this. So minus beta 2y divided by x square multiplied with x divided by y. So multiplied with x divided by y. This y and this y gets cancelled. This x and this bar gets cancelled. You get that the elasticity of y with respect to x is minus beta 2 divided by x. Okay, so for the first model, this is the slope of y with respect to x and this is the elasticity of y with respect to x. Now let's do the same calculation for the second model. So the second model is y equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 log of x plus u 
and we have to find the slope of y with respect to x and the elasticity of y with respect to x. So let's differentiate this with x. So if we differentiate this with x, the differentiation of beta 1 with x is 0 plus beta 2. The differentiation of log of x with x is 1 divided by x and the differentiation of u with x is again going to be 0 and once again this is because u has nothing to do with the independent variable. Over here the independent variable is log of x but if u is not related with log of x that means u is also not related with x. Okay, so when I differentiate the equation with respect to x, this last term is also going to be 0. So this implies that slope of y with respect to x is just beta 2 divided by x. Okay, and now we have to find the elasticity. Elasticity is slope multiplied with x divided by y. So the elasticity in this case is beta 2 divided by x multiplied with x divided by y. This and this gets cancelled, so this is just equal to beta 2 divided by y. So this is the elasticity of y with respect to x and this is the slope of y with respect to x. Okay, and that's it for this question.